All right, everyone, Bullet Train. Now this was a movie I saw about a week ago, and it's one of those movies that I thought I may not even watch because I looked at the Rotten Tomatoes and it was very low. But on this day, I was like, I just really need to turn my brain off. And even if it's like something mindless I'm gonna watch, maybe that's okay. I listened to this other podcast called The Film Cast, and they had actually reviewed this movie and the people on that podcast actually liked it. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll actually enjoy this. The trailer also looked super cool and super fun. And so I thought, maybe this will be good. All right, now before I dive in, I want to warn you that I'm going to spoil the entire movie. So if you haven't seen it, you should go watch it and then come back before you finish this video. So in short, Bullet Train is this movie where Brad Pitt and some other kind of assassin characters meet on this bullet train in Japan. Uh, and these characters all have like different jobs that they have been like put on and like they're all coming from slightly different places. But throughout the movie, you find out that they are all connected in an interesting way. All right, so what did I like about this movie? Now I had sort of like an interesting journey watching this movie. At first I thought like, okay, this is pretty cool. There's like stuff going on. It's pretty quippy, it's pretty fast. And then as it got like maybe like a third or a quarter into it, I'm like, okay, there's like all these characters. I don't really know how they connect. They keep introducing new people. It doesn't really hold together. It's like some of this action is cool, but it's not really holding my attention as much. But then maybe like halfway through the movie or like as you get into the third act, I thought it really started to pick up in a nice way. As they started bringing together like, you know, what are some of the connections between these characters and why they're all here on this one train. And so by the end, I would say I liked it quite a bit. One of the reasons is just kind of the humor and the originality. Like there were some, you know, pretty funny moments I thought. And the way that the humor was written, it's like not anything I've really seen in another movie like this before. You could definitely tell that there was like a unified vision and how the director wanted to tell the story, a unique voice, which I always appreciate in films like this. And you know, it's just fun. Another thing I really liked was actually Brad Pitt's performance. I haven't seen him in a role like this before and I heard it kind of referred to in a couple other things I've read about the movie as doing an impression of Ryan Reynolds, which I thought was interesting given one of the cameos that happens later in the movie. It is an interesting just type of humor that I haven't seen from him before, and I thought it was pretty fun. I generally thought that the action was well choreographed, unique, entertaining. There's lots of cool action ideas that they were able to implement because you're on a train and there aren't very many action movies I've seen that take place on a train like this. Speaking of trains, I just gotta say, I think that the design of this train was cool. Like, I don't know how similar this is to actual bullet trains that are in Japan, but the whole movie just made me actually wanna go ride one of the trains. I enjoyed the couple cameos of Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock. It's kind of random that you have these major stars just like pop in and out of the movie like this, but I thought that the way that they handled it was appropriate and added an extra level to the movie. And then as I hinted at earlier, I did think it came together nicely at the end, like the way that all the characters were connected, it finally started to make sense, and I thought it was pretty clever. Okay, a couple of criticisms in the movie that I would just put out there. Now there's the first thing that I mentioned earlier about how I tuned out and like wasn't really grasping onto the movie at the beginning. And I don't know if it was because of the pace or like what was going on. A couple of times I had trouble following the British accents a little bit. And so maybe I missed a couple of lines. One criticism I have that's probably unique to me is that it is kind of a violent movie. And you know, you should expect that going into a movie like this. I used to love movies like that. Sometimes those types of movies don't sit as well with me anymore. And I don't know if it's just because I've gotten older or whatnot. So especially at the beginning of the movie, I was like, yeah, this is kind of just like glorifying this um, really gratuitous violence. But then by the end of the movie, I didn't mind it as much, and so maybe I just kind of got used to it. And then the final criticism I'll put out there is that it's just interesting that this is a movie that takes place on a bullet train in Japan, and you don't really see that much of like Japanese characters or Japanese culture or anything like that. Like, yes, there's some people in the serving carts and like just some of the other people like sitting on the train, but I don't know, it doesn't actually feel like the train is in Japan sometimes, which I think is just an interesting way to do a movie like this. All right, so finally, what did I think about the movie overall? I would say pretty good. I had a fun time. It was entertaining. I'm glad I went. It's not a movie that I'm gonna revisit anytime soon, but for what it was, I thought it was fine. Maybe even more notable, I was leaving the theater at the end of the movie and I was overhearing this group of people who had also seen the movie as well. And they were just talking about like, oh man, that movie was so good. I really enjoyed it so much. And just like, it seemed like this group really had a lot of fun in this movie. And I don't know, that just made me really happy to see. Like, this is not like an Oscar winning complex drama of a movie. But for a lot of people, a movie like this is perfectly fine, entertaining, and just exactly what you need. And I, I just love the fact that there is a place for movies like this. And so with all of that, I'm going to give this movie three out of five stars. Again, a fun ride. All right, that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, which will help others find it. And subscribe for more. Peace.